Hey Scorpio, welcome into your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. We are doing your weeklies. Actually, we are going from the 20th to the 30th, so we're doing the final days of December 2021 as your weeklies. Um, next week, I'm only putting up videos for uh, everyone's uh, picture of 2022. So, welcome in, welcome in, and let's see what's happening for you guys. Advice, advice, please. Please also take a moon, take a look at your moon and your rising, as well as Venus, to get a better picture of what's going on for you. You are meant to take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. All right, let's see what else is happening here. Okay. Wow. it's a lot of water up in here. Very nice. All right, so your overall message is this Ace of Swords. So you're having a fresh new beginning with a lover here where it's based on truth, honesty, and clarity. You're on the same page, which is amazing because lovers is at the bottom of the deck. And behind that is the Ace of Cups. So if this didn't happen, it's coming down the pike. A lot of you are very excited and happy to be moving forward with this person. It looks like you went back towards someone from your recent past uh, with this lover. And now you had this conversation and now you're moving forward. Now, we are in December going into the new year, Scorpio, with a new chapter in mind. A whole new chapter. A lot of you could be traveling too and far away. Not across the street, not in your car either. A big trip. All right, so what's coming towards you is the page of coins. This is learning something new. Some of you could be going back to school. Others of you have a new job and you have to learn the ropes. Others of you, this is getting to know your, your new lover here and accepting that offer and moving forward. It's like you got that one foot forward on that path, on that road. What you don't see coming is love, full blown. Somebody emotionally mature, somebody emotionally available, could also be a Cancer, could also be a Pisces, could also be a Scorpio. In your advice, you have a choice to make. You're at a fork in the road. Do you deal with the past or do you go towards the future? It looks like you're going towards the future. It looks like you're moving forward with this person or this situation. In your outcome, I have the Queen of Cups. This is more or less you. Look, I have you have a counterpart here. In your outcome, there's love here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio card. This is you guys. And your counterpart is here. Who, what you don't see coming. Full-blown love with your counterperson. This is beautiful. This is amazing. I'm going to pull some of your romance angels from now. Something different. I usually pull these on the end. But I'm going to pull them now in the beginning and tie them into your reading. Let's see what's going on. Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please. Keep an open mind is at the bottom of the deck. I think that this new person that's coming into your energy field, you might be a little hesitant, um, but it looks like you're going towards them anyway, in my opinion. You deserve love and love yourself first. These are very, very symbolic cards in the sense that for me, I feel like this is what you are saying to yourself, Scorpio. I deserve love. I want to love me first. Because if I love me, then I can love everybody else. Because nothing on this table speaks like love like these, this king and queen of cups. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and start clarifying these cards and see what's going on for you, Scorpio. What is the world card? Anything else? The world is clarified. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. Just Chris, I wish I was a Scorpio right about now. New chapter in life with success, whether this is work or love, major success. And at the bottom of the deck, this is bringing in your wish fulfillment. You took a leap of faith towards a situation and it brought you wish fulfillment. Very nice, Scorpio. What's this page of coins? Clarify the page of coins, please. It is clear, the page of coins, learning the ropes at work, uh, going back to school, uh, or also, you know, learning somebody new in your environment as far as love is concerned. It's clarified by the Fool in Reverse and the Three of Pentacles. All right, so you're definitely collaborating with somebody here at work, but there's also something that you're fearful of and not taking a leap of faith towards uh, uh, in regards to something. So this is why you're trying to learn the ropes. The Fool in Reverse is just explaining to me why you're in this position that you are in. 
because you feel like you're not taking a leap of faith. You don't trust it. You'd rather learn it first before you do it, especially if this is work-related and collaborating with the team. Wanting to get all your ducks in a row and getting all your information. Love-wise, this is just talking about you trying to work with somebody or work with a situation that you currently have in hand and not taking a leap of faith, like not risking a situation here. Okay, because there was a recent ending in, in your recent past and you had to heal from it. And because of that reason, you're no longer taking risks anymore, is what it's telling me. You'd rather learn the person, get to know them before you move forward. That's what you're doing here. So you're collaborating with the person, not taking any risks. Because in the past, you were dealing with the Ten of Swords, pain, betrayal, hurt. What? <clears throat> and then obviously this makes sense. It's kind of smart if you ask me. Because what you don't see coming is the King of Cups. What is this King of Cups, please? Clarify this King of Cups. What Scorpio does not see coming? Somebody emotionally available. Somebody emotionally mature. Somebody with emotions vast like an ocean. Not, you know, feelings of a teaspoon. Clarify the King of Cups, please. Thank you. A lot of you guys are moving towards love, or at least new love, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, I have the um, Knight of Cups, somebody coming in to offer you an emotional new beginning. Not even just the beginning. This could be somebody like, hey, let's go on a date, or let's go talk. Like It's, it's something from an emotional nature. The only thing here is, as I have the devil, maybe some of you are dealing with the Capricorn, others of you, this is just toxic patterns being repeated. You can't keep dating the same people and expecting different results, Scorpio. Or there's something toxic that is here that you need to get rid of. And because of this, this is the fear monsters in your head. It's keeping you torn, not knowing what decision to make. Possibly between two jobs, two people, or moving forward with this person. Whatever it is, it's a two situation thing for you. And this is the devil for you. This is what's keeping you up at night, stressed with full blown anxiety. Let's see what's going on. I see nothing but positive, but you're afraid of it. Because I see you're scared because of you've been burnt in the past. What's this two of uh, wands and their advice? Needing to make that decision to go towards the future thing, the new thing. They're encouraging you to do so. But some of you are lacking the strength to do it. All right? Because I have death here and they want you to transform and transition out of this energy of you waiting for something. Potentially, it is also saying the reverse. You need to wait for your ships to come in. Have some patience for this thing to transition, to transform. And, and you're lacking the strength for this to happen. The lacking the patience for this to transform. There's something here about you possibly needing to wait in order to make this decision that you need to make or to have it transform into something here. But more or less, it is pushing you and encouraging you to make a choice into your future, into towards the new thing. What is this Queen of Cups, please? And this is your card. No one does transition like you do. I mean, it's also Aries too, but yeah, the same. No, that's the tower. This is you. This is you trying to transition. But it's saying you might have to wait or hold back. There's somebody here that you're sort of turning your back towards, you're sort of turning your back towards love. Uh, and you're taking a time out and you're going into hermit mode because you are trying to restore the balance in your life and heal yourself. So you're not seeking right now some kind of um, putting yourself out there kind of thing. Okay, because the page of wands in reverse is telling me in the upright, it's like throwing spaghetti up against the wall and seeing what sticks, like going out and having fun, like being excited about the world again, feeling like a teenager. But in the reverse, you're just not excited about something anymore because right now you're mending a broken heart. So you feel like you are emotionally unstable, 
but on the surface you seem very stable so externally you seem very very stable internally you're like this emotionally reversed a lack of balance so you've gone in hermit mode you went quiet you're not hanging out with friends you're not talking to friends you're not talking to family you're keeping to yourself trying to make the right decision you're trying to make the right choice temperance in reverse lack of healing lack of balance again this is what's in your outcome but there's love here love wants to come there's a brand new beginning coming towards you in 2022 and you're trying to absorb the energy but you feel emotionally unstable internally externally you look very stable to somebody else who very much desires you who very much is coming to give you a love offer they're riding right on in but you you're torn it's the fear monsters in your head because you're afraid of taking risks. You're like done with that. This is what you're doing. And you're telling yourself this. I need to love myself first. All right. You deserve love and love yourself first. You know this. That's why you're in the upright position in the outcome. Because you're telling yourself these things. And you're figuring it out how to mend yourself. How to fix yourself in order to go towards this. And that's why at the bottom of the deck you have keep an open mind. Because there is love being presented to itself, but you might not be acknowledging it right away. This is, could have been the conversation you had with a recent lover. You could say to them, look, I'm interested, but I'm not completely emotionally available. I'm still healing. Whatever you did, you had an honest conversation. Because this person offered you love. Let me see what the Kipper deck has for you guys. What do you have for my Scorpio? This is such a specific reading. This is pretty amazing though. Toil and labor, message of concern at the bottom of the deck. All right, so a lot of you guys are working really hard on your craft, at your job, whatever it is. This is the mundane card of the day in, the day out, the minutia that you deal with. But it also is telling me that you're you're just, you're in this place right now where you're, you're starting to work out with some some company some business some place that you just put yourself in it, it's like to pay the bills you're just doing this job to pay the bills but while you're here along comes this main man in your life that you work with potentially or this or this is you dealing with the minutia of this person that's in your life and they are potentially a wealthy person wealthy man so the main male in your life right now is wealthy and there's something here where you're just trying to deal with yourself. You're working on yourself. You're trying to heal yourself. You're doing all this, this toil and labor, but it's meant to lead you somewhere. For a lot of you, it's leading you to this wealthy man. Others of you, if you're a man watching this, you're, you are this male figure. And this reading is for you as well. And wealth is coming in your direction. You just have to deal with this toil and labor at work. For those of you that are members in the extended, we'll clarify that with Tarot, as well as these cards, so it can give us a little bit more clarity. And then we'll also get into the feelings of, or the intentions of this new love interest here, or this love interest in your energy currently. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. I will see you on the next one.